Okay, um, welcome to my little tutorial here. I'm going to go over the uh, settings that I used for my live stream on Bandcamp this past weekend. And I'm actually going to go through um, all of the hardware settings and all of the software settings from uh, beginning to end. Uh, so I'm going to jump around a little bit here <clears throat> with some of my displays just so we can see everything. Um, but let's turn this off for a second and let's enlarge this window. Uh, it's not so important that you see me right now, so I may turn off my face cam here. Um, but let's just go ahead and get this window larger here. Uh, so everything starts with how my routing is being done. Uh, I'm working with the Allen and Heath Zeddy. 10FX mixer, which I really like, um, and I'm working on a Lenovo Legion 5 uh, laptop with uh, pretty good GPU in it here. Um, the first thing to note is that all of my monitoring is being done right here off of the mixer. Um, I'm not monitoring anything off of the computer. Um, I'm using this as my audio interface, and um, I'm going to have three inputs in this case. I'm going to have my microphone, um, and I'm going to have my left and right channel from my pedal board. Now, in this case, I'm just kind of doing this for demonstration. I'm using this uh, as a demonstration signal, but think of this as um, left and right coming from a pedal board. And um, importantly, making sure that both of these are panned. So I've got a left and a right pan uh, to make sure that this is a stereo signal going out. Um, that's the hardware setup for the most part. Um, these come into OBS as follows. Let me get rid of my, I'm gonna turn off this mixer picture there for a second. Um, and I want to focus mainly on, well, let's get rid of my laptop cam. I want to focus mainly on um, this section here of our inputs. Let me make this bigger and make this smaller. Okay, so hopefully you can see more of this now. And you can see my structure here. I've got my laptop cam. Um, I've got my web address there in the, down in the corner. I've got my touch designer coming in through NDI, which I'll take a look at in a second. And um, I've got all of my audio stuff configured here. Um, now, in a separate video, I'll talk about how I was going to set up VCV Rack. I ended up not even using VCV Rack in this set. I just used my pedal board, so I, that is muted right now. But more importantly for this set... Um, how my mic is configured here through Zeddy M1 Share, uh, or Shore, I'm sorry. Uh, and then if we double check that, we can see that is corresponding to the M1, uh, the Mono 1 signal that's coming in on the Zeddy. Uh, and that is what we see here, the levels coming across as a Mono signal there. Then here underneath we have Zeddy M3, M4. Normally they would be two Mono signals, but since I have them panned, I've got stereo pair coming off of that. That's my improv gear or my pedal board. And um, we can see I've got that here mapped as Zeddy 10, 3, and 4. So I'm able to take the 3 and 4 and pair that as a, a stereo pair. Um, on both of these here on my audio mixer, if I go to um, the gear and I go to advanced audio properties, um, as I said, I'm doing all of my monitoring off of my mixer, so I have both of these set to monitor off because I don't want any additional signals there. Uh, the other thing I'd like to note here in OBS is if we take a look at my settings and we go to audio, I have all of this disabled. And uh, this is actually new since I've been using the Lenovo with the Zeddy mixer and this particular setup. Um, because I'm not monitoring anything off the computer, I don't want anything else popping up in my audio devices 
uh, in OBS, so I have all of this disabled, and I don't need any of it. Absolutely do not need any of it. Um, from there, it's just a matter of trying to find settings that work for your situation with your stream capability, your internet connection. Um, this is not anything written in stone. This just happens to be what I used um, this past weekend. And um, yeah, nothing else really exciting there. Pretty much standard stuff. Uh, and I might tweak that some. So from that perspective, that's all of the connectivity. Now one thing to take a look at here is what I'm doing with Touch Designer. So um, in my Touch Designer setup, we can take a look here. Um, Touch Designer is actually consuming the camera feed and overlaying uh, an audio reactive piece. You can see that kind of morphing thing happening. Uh, as well as a star field. And uh, then that's also got some capability to do some overlays and some manipulation, um, which I'm not going to demonstrate right now because it's not really that important. But all of my other video processing is happening in Touch Designer. And then in Touch Designer, uh, that's being exported as um, an NDI out. And then that NDI out is what I'm picking up here in um, OBS when we look at my TD via NDI. When I open that up, um, we can see that that's going to display everything coming over from there. And I'll double click that and I can see that um, I'm consuming the source name, which is in this case my Touch Designer source name. Um, and I think the reason that's only showing the mixer right now is because I'm not coming off of this comp. Let's see, we might, there we go. There's everything. And naturally that's, that's kind of optional. Um, but the one thing to keep in mind there is I do still want audio to come in uh, for the audio reactive piece of that. So over in Touch Designer, I am, let's go back to my Touch Designer display. And we can turn that off. And we'll turn this off. Um, in Touch Designer, I have uh, a pedal board input, which is picking up the pedal board stereo three and four, you see right here. And that is picking that up there so that I can run that signal through to get a signal there. and so on. Um, if I was using VCV Rackets, which is over here, but again, I'm going to do a separate video on that because there's a few other settings that I use for that. Um, so yeah, I think that is pretty much all of what I had here. From there, it's just a matter of setting up your stream URL, stream key, and following the instructions on Bandcamp. They've got it set up really nice where they give you a timer and they say, you know, get ready to stream and then stream when it hits zero and then you're all ready to go. So uh, that part was pretty much the same as anything else and very easy. But um, that is the walkthrough. And thanks for watching and good luck with streaming. And hit me up if you have any questions or want to say hi. Thanks.